Jennifer, I'm so glad we made it back home in one piece. Now we can start our lives together knowing that our future children will be okay. I know what you mean. What an ordeal. I don't even feel like the same person I was when this whole thing started. Well, you do keep changing actresses. But I know what you mean, babe. I'm really glad you decided to sue Biff Tannen for all the emotional distress that he caused us. Me too. The suit seems to be going fine. I don't expect to see any problems there. Marty! Jennifer! I'm glad I found you! Something's wrong! You have to come with me! What is it, Doc? Isn't our kids? What, did they become ales or something? Oh, no, no, no. We took care of that in part two. Try to keep up, Marty. It's your lawsuit. There's a problem. Whoa, Doc. This is heavy duty. What could be wrong with it? We filed the complaint within the statute of limitations, didn't we? Yes, we did. But you see, the problem is, in our complaint, we named Biff Tannen, but it was really Griff Tannen that caused all your problems. You see, in the future, Griff steals my time machine. He takes it back to 1955, and he traded places with Biff. I don't understand. That doesn't make sense. I know. Nobody understands. Just go along with it, Jennifer, like we did in part three. So what do we do, Doc? Are we done for? No. We need to take one last journey and make our lawsuit relate back. To the future? No, no, no. Just relate back. Come on, come with me. By the way, Doc, what happened to the DeLorean? <sighs> well, you know, the economy's a bitch. Where are we, Doc? Past? The future? No, Marty. We're at the courthouse, and we need to file an amended complaint. So we're going to need to have to look at the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure rulebook. Wow, Doc! You sure picked up some new tricks. We need to take a look at rule number 15. It says, a complaint can be amended to relate back if there was a mistake in the identity of a party and the real party knew or should have known that he'd be named in the suit. Well, here we named Biff, but since Griff knew what he did, he was on notice that action could be pending against him once his grandfather was served. Precisely, Mark. And since we made an honest mistake, we should be able to amend, right? I hope so, Jennifer. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> C1C of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, a claim may relate back if the party to be brought by the amendment will not be prejudiced in defending on the merits and should have known that the action will be brought against it but for a mistake concerning the proper party's identity. Pursuant to this rule, and in accordance with sweet, sweet justice, the motion to relate back is granted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did it! Doc, yes. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. Doc, what happens next? Glad you asked, Marty, my boy. Take a look for yourself. See, it's like it was always this way. The future is secure. Wait a minute, wait just a minute. We still have a problem here. Griff technically hasn't been born yet. This suit names an unborn party. Great Scott, you're right. So you know what that means. It's time to take this lawsuit back to, to the, the future. future. That's right, let's go. Is he coming back? To the future! Seriously? Well, I'm gonna get a cab. What happens next? Glad you asked, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> This 
Is it Doc? Is it our kids? What are they become assholes or something? God. <laughs> 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 Give me even bigger, Jen. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Doc. Cut. I'm not cut. Gonna do this.